Today, we are at our Palmer Johnson Power Systems Sun Prairie location, discussing testing of a Dana T12000 PowerShift transmission. It is currently bolted to our Sour Sun Strand two-speed test stand. This test stand is run by a Perkins diesel engine, and the Sour Sun Strand pump and motor gives us the ability to test both forward and reverse from zero to 3,200 RPMs. This test stand is capable of not only testing power shift transmissions, but smaller marine gears and axles. This Dana T20000 power shift transmission that we are testing today is commonly seen in rough terrain forklifts of the 10,000 pound range. These are manufactured by companies such as Extreme, JLG, Genie. This is a three speed forward, three speed reverse transmission with a short drop output and is a self-contained transmission and torque converter unit. The transmission case serves as the oil sump, and once this transmission has been bolted to the test stand, the service tech will fill the transmission with oil, and the oil will be run through an adapter as we remove this, the oil filter from the charge pump, which will then go through our five and three micron oil filters, then our flow meter, and back in across the pressure regulator valve. Clutch pressures will be supplied from the main system oil pressure. The remaining oil will go to charge the torque converter. Once the, the oil leaves the torque converter, it's going to go through this loop, which is basically signifying a oil cooler loop, where we have another flow meter and record our pressures. There's a valve here that allows us to turn that off to check converter relief pressure and then the oil is then sent back into the transmission as lubricating oil for the clutches and bearings. All of our clutch pressures and temperatures are being captured through pressure transducers and recorded in our National Instruments data acquisition. There's a dashboard that displays gauges where the service tech can monitor clutch pressure, converter pressure, and lube oil pressure along with watching the traces as the shifts are being made in the lower left-hand graph screen that slowly moves across. This information is recorded and then given to the customer upon final completion of a successful test. Once the test is completed, the service tech will do another pass over to make sure we have no oil leaks and that concludes the test of this PowerShift transmission.